So what purpose does in questions have? What is the purpose of questioning life? Questioning each other? Statements like this, which is a question, really antagonize the, the mind to the state that it immediately, it immediately is blocked by its ego self and enough of this. And if you're still here and you haven't already done this, You're beginning to realize that the questioner is not you, whatever you are. The questioner arises from that what is already here, as a samsara circular process. And these questions will continue to arise until you suddenly realize What's the point? When you watch the, the mouse running around the wheel, the mouse never moves, but the wheel, the legs of the mouse is move, moving. Or is it the job or whatever, hamster? You say, what's the point? You know? So we have to create a point. It's trying to run away. But it hasn't got the mindset to understand that it'll never get away. And so when I run on the elevator at the gym, and the point is to lose weight, is to gain muscle. So a point is built from the experience to give it some purpose. So what is the purpose of questions? To continue on the elevator. And to realize that on this elevator, through questions, I can get many answers. And then slowly the answers seem to repeat themselves. And then the questions begin to repeat themselves. Nineteen ninety-two. What is my purpose? I'm at school. What am I going to do with my life? And then a period of new questions arise regarding this initial question. 2002. What is my purpose? How am I going to find peace in this life? And then questions. Many questions. 2012, what is my purpose? I don't seem to have achieved anything worthwhile in my life. And, and little questions regarding this situation. What is there to achieve? What is there to fulfill? You see? Now delete to find God. Speakers deluded. We have to be doing something. We have to remain active. So the question from the speaker to you is, what is remaining active? Your mind or your body? Hmm. Never thought about it like that. What is the purpose of the body? To maintain life. Does it question itself? Only through illness. I'm struggling. I need help. But the illness arises from the unanswered questions. So the mouth going around the wheel, or the hamster, will not get ill. Because he doesn't know why he's doing it, or she. He's just doing it. 
There's no point. So to have a point is going to create some sort of need, some sort of desire, some sort of want, some sort of desire to fulfill something. So what are you fulfilling? Is that another question? What are you fulfilling? What are you fulfilling? You never stop to analyze these questions. I'm fulfilling it because that's what, that's what I'm supposed to do. Everyone else is doing it. And you become that, that puppet. Another one on the string. Dancing life. Of course, there's a purpose and a need. But the need and the purpose is to lose the idea that there is a particular purpose. The purpose is a need to lose the idea that there is a purpose to clarify what the purpose is. The purpose is gain, the purpose is loss. If I get more money, I have a purpose. I have to go to work, get some more money. There's a purpose to get up in the morning, then I get the money and I have a house. I have fulfilled my purpose. At any point in my life, I can give some of my money away to someone else that needs it, and I have filled my purpose of being kind. Is there a question and answer here? Or is it just a life taking its own shape? Is there a need to question what is going to be inevitably happening? Yeah, you're going to be born, you're going to be cared for, you're going to be loved, looked after. Unfortunately, you're going to be educated into having other purposes other than being alive to fulfill the role of the mind. The role of the mind it seeks and wants and seeks and wants and desires and at the last breath the mind is taken away and there's a tearful exit. What the hell are you doing? I worked so hard for all that stuff. And you're confronting, you're fighting, you're negotiating with that what takes mind away and then someone taps you on the shoulder. And it's Christ or Buddha or God or Rumi or Ramana or Muhammad or Ram. And you turn around and you say, whoa, 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 I'm having a negotiation here. Oh, my God. And they say, when you turn around, the purpose was always to meet me. But that, not that figurine that form that idea what Muhammad looked like that picture that you followed in the book of the internet the life force itself the supreme being and you have no more purposes because they embrace you and they take you home and then you're waking up and if you say the more next morning my god I've wasted all this life thinking I had something to do other than just accept life and its purest conscious being state to witness the glory of this incredible experience with a body that had senses and emotions to confirm these experiences. But I never realized I was part of this supreme being till I woke up. I thought I was a thinker with a purpose, with a life activity, with a need, a desire to fulfill a system that is called I. Go beyond the systematic I and meet Muhammad, Rumi, Buddha, Christ. And meet yourself in its true state. not your time you see you're going looking for a purpose looking for 2022 2032 2042 2052 always looking outwards tunnel vision fixating on specific states of mind thinking I'm this person I have to do good 
I have to be there. I have to be kind. I have to be grateful. I have to be. I have to be angry. I have to be. I have to take sides. I have to oppose that one. I have to fight with that one. I have to negotiate with that one. I have to fear all of that ones. And all the time the tapping on the back is irritating you. And we call it boredom. Can you be bored enough to ignore this world, to sit quietly and wait patiently in silence with no purpose, no expectation? And then, bang, one moment. One infinite whole moment. You're gone.